What's up, YouTube? This is a review slash unboxing of my Gucci Men's Techno Canvas Flap Backpack. Um, got it for Christmas. My wife got it for me because I was getting clowned at work for my old backpack, which is this guy right here. Not a bad backpack. It's the Oakley Kitchen Sink. Uh, since I was in the military, I needed a bunch of pockets and straps and attachment points. Don't really need that anymore. Uh, the current guys I work with now kind of clown me for this. They asked me if I'm going to go hiking every day, so kind of got tired of it. I was going to buy a new backpack, uh, but much cheaper. Um, but my wife saw the need, filled the need, so good job on her for the Christmas gift. So here is the the backpack. Here it has, comes in a, a big, almost kind of unnecessary box, but I guess if you buy expensive crap this is how it comes in this is my first gucci product that's real i'm sure i've had fake stuff in my life but the first one that's real so the box um opens like a i don't know like a shoe box or regular box or whatever it came wrapped in this ribbon since it was christmas it has gucci all over it it also was outside of this uh dust cover but i put it back in the dust cover until I was ready to use it. And so now I'm gonna start carrying it every day. So uh, let's just see how it works. I'm not really into flashy, a whole lot of flashy stuff. Uh, so this is about as flashy as I have. The uh, red strap just kind of stand out. It's kind of the first thing I notice is the, the red and green strap. So kind of hard to hide that this is a Gucci backpack, although not necessarily trying to hide it, I just, I don't know, don't like broadcasting a whole lot. Uh, what, there's what, two side pockets, so two of decent sized side pockets. I can get half my fists in there. You have to excuse me, I have like some sniffles or something today. There's one front pocket, it's not very deep. So the overall size of the backpack isn't, isn't all that great. It's not the biggest of backpacks, but I don't have to carry that much for work nowadays. Let's see another little pocket. So it's actually going to work out, I believe. We'll see when I start transferring my stuff. Got a little top pocket that you can put whatever in. I'm assuming like a sunglass case is probably about as good as you're going to get in there. And then on the front of it, because it is Gucci, if you can see that, it has the uh, Gucci logo with the little tiger guy or whatever that is yeah I think it's a tiger and inside it's wrapping crap I guess that's just to make it poofy what is this uh, oh it looks like this is what they give you your receipt in that's cool I really bought anything like that that's neat uh, and this is uh, radio frequency identification tag. Oh, okay. So they tag it to make sure it's real when it gets to you. So that's pretty neat. Then nobody can steal it and swap with a fake uh, Gucci control number. I don't know if that means anything. It doesn't really mean anything to me. I just need a backpack. And then this is just a few words about um, the craftsmanship that I'll probably read later. Now inside it has another little pouch. Oh, it's not a little pouch. It actually goes all the way to the back. So it's like a cell phone pouch kind of in there. Or not a cell phone, excuse me, a laptop pouch or iPad pouch. That's in there. That's pretty neat. And then on the other wall there's two little pouches, maybe card holders or wallet holders. If you had a slim wallet holder, probably hold that pretty well. All right, so put this one to the side and we will take out everything I got in my other backpack. Let's see where to put it. So at the top, the same pouch. Probably will relocate some things. Uh, got Trash. I don't need that. So this is probably a good time to purge my crap. Card holder. 
bunch of pins, wipes. Okay. I do work in an office, so I keep that around. And, you know, dry skin problems. What do we got in here? Nope, stuff for contacts, key to the building. Don't need that. Oh, a dongle. How about that? That's neat. Oh. A knife? I uh, don't really need that. So that's from a previous life. More chapstick. So I don't seem to lose it. Looks like that pocket's done. And the other pocket. Huh. Work stuff. And trash. Good. I will admit this bag did serve me well. It didn't break. And I carried a lot of heavy stuff in it. So I won't be carrying heavy stuff anymore. So don't really need all this carrying capacity and all the straps. A bunch of work stuff. More work stuff. iPad for work. Backpack served me well as a work and slash travel backpack. All screwed up so I never really care where I set it. I uh, don't really have to worry about those problems anymore because I won't be in the operating in the same environment. So not really a big deal there. Bye, Oakley. Alright, let's get these new guys set up. So the iPad I'll probably put in that standalone pouch. Doesn't get screwed up. The rest of this stuff is kind of go on back in. Oh, well, that's stupid. Kind of got hooked on those little card pockets that are in there. Here's the test. I have to change my whole setup now. Oh, I don't. Look at that. Success. Yeah, I know you're supposed to keep that little cover on those lint rollers, but I just rip off the last paper. I'm lazy. All of my beauty supplies on one side. Uh oh, close. There we go. I don't know if it's because it's new or exceptionally tight fit. That zipper is kind of tough. and all that good stuff up top. I just leave my shades out. And then the key, charger, put that all over here. Other side, actually in my dongle. We'll put those back in. Jesus, that zipper sucks. It's just really tight. Exceptionally tight. So, oh, and a drawstring on top. So, it's like made out of plastic. I don't think it's waterproof. I wouldn't try it if I didn't have to. I'm sure one day I may get stuck out in the rain and I'll have to figure out if it actually is waterproof because of what I'm carrying on the inside. Um, yeah, pretty intuitive on the straps. Not as many straps and stuff dangling off of it. Much cleaner. So I do like that. Since I don't carry anything heavy, I'm not really worried about tearing up the stitching up here. Because as heavy as I get is an iPad, a few sheets of paper. So uh, this is much better, I think. 
for my my situation and my use to go, you know, directly in my car and then from my car to either in the classroom with me or into my locker. Honestly, it just really depends on when I'm at work and what I want to do. But yeah, I don't uh I don't, uh, I don't have any problems per se yet. I'll uh, maybe do a video in like a month or two after I've carried it for a while and had to do a few projects at work and this and that. And we'll see exactly how useful this thing is, whether it's too small or um, the stitching comes apart on me, because that's the, really the tell. Um, if the stitching starts coming apart on me, that'll probably irritate me a little bit, but we will see. All right, well, if y'all got any questions about it, let me know and I will... Uh, do another video or just answer the questions right in the comments but uh here you go here's another good look at